This is Michi Hoya guys, welcome everyone to the free practice session we're going to do for this uh, GTR 24 race at Spa. We're on the server and I have to admit, I wish for dry conditions. But as you may be able to hear it, it's raining. Well, you're not able to hear it just yet, uh, but maybe you'll be able to hear it now. Uh, F. That means uh, putting the rain tires on, see what it feels like, because we're gonna have to deal with that car in the rain conditions. Um, I've turned up the uh, graphics for maximum today to see how it works in the stream, how it would work in the stream if I would go for full uh, full graphic settings. There we go. And uh, I can see issues already. Well, not issues, but FPS drops. Do you want to kid me? It's fucking sunshine. So we're going to do installation lap. See how... Uh, We can work with a for God's sake. That mirror bullshit. I'm so sick of it, I can tell you. So uh, rain seven percent of rain. Twelve percent online wetness. Which sound exactly you hate there, Sven? So there's no grip whatsoever. I do not even see a, a racing line here. That wiper is way too slow. I have a clear side out of the cockpit, but uh, the wiper is just way too long on my face. Hey there, Mantas. Uh, what do you say? Just put the mirror to zero. Oops. Really? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try that because I need to lower the graphics regardless. But if I can race like this right now, I'm just gonna keep the practice on. Oh dear. Finding new breaking points. I'm not sure whether this is the sound of uh, GTR 24 organized. Oh, my God. Okay, that was a bad start to let me let me fix some things real quick. So I gonna start with uh, turning those down. I don't want to have the shadows, motion blur. Well, if it needs, uh, rest is unnecessary. Beyond that, uh, I will turn down post effects and stuff. I will, it will make, look a little better than yesterday but not too much. Uh, three medium, that's gonna be sufficient. Bear with me. Uh, so, R-Factor 2 folder. 
common R factor to user data player player ini. Is it the J player ini JSON file or is it the controls? Um, now player JSON mirror. I'll look for that. Center mirror horizon. That is set to zero. Center mirror size. Are we looking for? Are we looking for uh, our moving rear? Uh, moving rear view. Oh, that is set to three. So where the mirrors respond to head movement in the in the rear view, I'm gonna put that zero. Uh, anything else I need to set? Hey there, Joey. Because that mirror stuff is pissing me off quite late, quite hard lately. Mirror. Mirror, mirror. Yeah, 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 I hear you. Okay, we're going to see and check if that fixes it. Would be highly appreciated. Okay, back into the game. Um, because actually when it, when it rains, I would appreciate if I would sit a bit more further to the front. Uh... Uh, Willemacher, what news about McLaren? I missed that, I think. Bear with me, guys. I'm very much interested to hear about those news. Bear with me. Come on. There we go. I still don't wish to race in the rain though. Yeah. What I wish even more would be my damn blends of the rooftop window working. That's that's why the lighting here in that area is entirely fucked up. Because uh, I had to put up some papers on there. Alright, gives me a possibility to do some shout outs. Maria, Ron, Rinhack, also Mikulai and Yerk. Thank you guys, thank you so much for the like on the streams. Okay, let's have a look. Oh yeah, that works perfectly. Thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate that. Oh, classic mirrors where I want them. Perfect, man. So much appreciated. Only that fucking sound that gives me an error message is pissing me off, but... It's not worrying right now anymore. Also, let me disable this live timing. I got no idea really uh, whether live timing is going to be available. Hey there, Shane. I'm doing well. Thank you so much, buddy.
21% of wetness on track. So there we go. I've no idea really how uh, quick I can go. Oh dear. With those tyres. Oh, actually, so McLaren gets into into IndyCar with Alonso. That sounds really nice. Time to watch some IndyCar then. Does it sound all right to you guys? I hope so. Wow. So they're building their own chassis, but I got an engine from Chevy. Copy. Oh, hell yeah. Ah, uh, If. That's gonna happen so often to me in the race. Pretty much irrelevant whether it rains or not. He's getting back into F1. I don't think so. That would surprise me because people have just... I saw some other news that basically said the door for Fernando Alonso back into F1 has been shut. Jason! Thank you, buddy. Thank you so much for the like. I appreciate that. Uh, I think they also made new tires and a little little bit new aero but if you ask me they got it fairly wrong I mean I do not know if I've never driven an LMP car in my life but the way this car oversteers is just horrendous also the tires they have some pretty poor maneuvering I can tell you something look at that that is just coasting through, yeah, this is exactly part of the problem. And even though if I would be just coasting through the corner, I can show you something. Puhon, F, understeer, 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 but if you look at the temperature, even like this, the rear tires heats more up than the front tire. And that to me is wrong. Also while cornering, I can I can turn on the w steering wheel like an idiot. It's just the rear tire that got lit. And if I turn a little bit too much anyway, I push the car into a straight spin. So I think they got some values wrong. Ah, Villemar, don't get me wrong. McLaren is on a good way to get back to a top team, Imo. Give them another year or something. Actually, they made some, some progress with constantly getting into, like, P4 of the teams overall. Hey there, Thomas G. Yeah, there's also more rear tire wear than front tire wear, and there's nothing I can do about that. Yeah, but we all do know Alonso, he, he he mumbles a lot of things during the day and suddenly you will find him back on... Uh, uh, on the F1 car. Um, Damian, I already... we already did. I mean, they were working on the car last couple of days and... Um, team manager, Jose Ignacio, from ground effects asked for feedback and I gave plenty I mentioned the issue to him like two or three times in both builds and well they didn't fix it so 
Need to take it. Alter. Halt's Maul. So we have music on the track. But we have badly roaring cars. Uh, I mean in dry conditions it, it's kinda... It's kinda okay. But Jesus. Wet conditions, it's horrible. Hey there Sven, how you doing? Hey Mizar. Also this pit lane exit, I'm not so I'm not sure where we're supposed to go. And even despite rain, there's this stupid bump on the top of Radillon on the pit exit. That so heavily unsettles the car. That one. That is so horrible, even in the dry. Yep, green place, thank you so much. Uh, actually, I changed that in the tag, but seemingly uh, Steam refused to actually uh, take it over. I'm aware of that though, but thank you so much for noticing. What version of Spa that is? Um, well, I do not know the exact version because they've renamed it, but I'm pretty sure this is the converted version from Assetto Corsa, by the looks of it. This is the LMP2 chassis with an LMP1 livery, LMP1 engine, physics, tires, I don't know about sound. Oh yeah, basically it's an updated Orica. about to say I'm starting to get a grit. Yeah, we're also going to use it for FSR. Original R Factor 2 Orica. Like, there's more or less the entire game files as official R Factor 2 content apart from that LMP1. So, since Jos Araneda has uh, joined the server, I can't wait to see what he does. As he is a teammate of mine with the same setup. And definitely want to see how he gets along with the rain there. So I'm finally somewhat Getting used to the conditions. Yep, Abruzzi gloves on the hand. There's more stuff from Abruzzi at some point arriving. Pretty sure of that. Can I dive? Uh... Wow. 
Okay, that is also very important information for during the race to see actually what is possible, what is still safe to do and what you better shouldn't do since we're doing practice that was a two, zero, two point eight, two. the drivability through Rouge is horrible though Ben Clausen, thank you buddy appreciate your time, thank you for the join Thank you for the like on Facebook on the stream. Too late. Yeah, instantly the car comes around, wants to spin. Too wide. Yeah, but you see the car is starting this sort of sliding again. Which is totally beyond me. I can't even understand that. Oh, contact with a GT3. Oh, those rear tires are just shit. Wow, look at that. Yeah, it is a, a very slight move too much on the steering wheel and the rear's gone. I don't understand like the rear's the rear set up like on a Formula 1 car. I just can't make the fucking car turn around in one piece. Hey, Brian Ferguson. Greetings towards Down Under. How you doing, buddy? Good evening to you. Actually, good night. It's about midnight, isn't it? That was a two, zero, five, Finally, the first good old Rouge and rain conditions now. car just suddenly goes. Feels like the Subaru I drove yesterday. I don't know what to do, apart from turning the, uh, the steering ratio as low as possible. Joy, thank you buddy. Thank you for the like, man. Ach, das ist doch geisteskrank. So I want to see how uh, teammate Jos Arenada is coming across and... Ah, okay, not driving. Oh, oh, there we go. Let's watch his onboard a little bit. Hey there, Henry. Alex racing the car sounds different because it's actually an LMP1 sound. Right, let's have a look though. I'm kind of very much interested in seeing how that went, goes on. Ja, 
Raptominato races tomorrow. 1200 CET, so noon. Ah, he immediately escaped again. Sim racing, that's still a secret. Maybe as a, as you're a Patreon follower, you should probably know or see in the chat. If not, I'm gonna... Well, it's... Yeah, I, I'm gonna unbox it as soon as I arrive, uh, as it arrives, but I'm pretty sure you can guess what it is. Uh, no, I haven't heard of that yet. Woohoo, spray in the cockpit! Yoss is suggesting I may be struggling too much with the car. Oh, genius. Oh, actually, it has stopped raining. Well, this will be a good. This will be a perfect practice for consistency, because it's gonna take 15 minutes until it dries up, and then you need to be very precise driving on the racing line. But on slick tires. You know, the car feels absolutely fine lap one on the out lap, but as soon as the rear tires got lit up once, dead. Ah, and it rains again. Patrick, thank you so much, buddy. Thank you so much uh, for liking the stream, man.
Oh, don't fucking write messages to me. Okay, can we finally get one F in lap in? Just one F in lap. Well, I'd rather want to have a full stint done. I'm not sure whether KA Sim Racing or anyone knows whether Nikki Team already has tried R Factor 2. Can't remember seeing him racing. That bump is so heavy. Yeah, Sven, that's absolutely right. I also have no real idea where the big strugglers come from. Halt's Maul. Front splitter broken. <laughs> okay, well, uh, actually, the damage model is accurate. Accurate but annoying. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think it's the the McLaren GTR they are bringing in. Not even sure if it's a GTE. Hi there, Jorge. How you doing? The thing is, those LMP2 cars, the GTEs and the GT3s that are all also driving in this event. They're pretty damn easy to be set up because they have the standard R Factor 2 physics, so the official content physics. I think they're not updated, so we do know that they are not broken in the slight. Well, as broken as they are as of the being the official content, but they are not broken in terms of having a custom-built mod, which is the case though for that LMP1 car. I don't think the Senna is a GT3 spec car to be honest. Yeah, you got that understeer. You got the fucking understeer you need to wait to apply the throttle and at the same time you're you're lighting up the rear rear tires. I don't understand that. Like, call me an idiot, call me a noob, call me a guy that does not know anything about racing, but I do not understand that just from a physical standpoint of view. Ah, Missile looks like long time no R Fact 2 opened. I think the car is worse than a four-wheel slide, but yeah, I saw I saw pictures on top of it, so like helicopter cam, where the car really is like going four-wheel slide through the corner despite you just turning in manually. I do not know why that is though.
So here we are now. Rear tyres getting hotter than front tyres. On the exit of Rouge. That needs to be explained to me. Also in, in Blanchimore, when you're flat out through Blanchimore, it's the rear tyres that get lit so much more. And at the same time, you're just slipping off the track. Also this turn, more rear wheel tyre heat. Hundred thirty degrees in the rear right, ninety in the rear front, uh, in the in the front right. So that's how the temperatures are on that car through Blanchimont. Yep, there is a lot of things broken though on it. Oh, bear with me, I need to check up with uh, my teammates here real quick. Okay, so we do have about a lap time. Oh, there is something I need to try. The thing is, I do not know whether we can change that in race, I think which we can't. Yeah, the thing is, let's have a look on the top of our drive in Orouge. Not Orouge, Pujon. There we are. Yeah, you can see from the top that there is a slip angle going on, I think. You see that? I'm pretty... To me that's a slip angle. Look where the rear tires are. You can see it very good here in the wet. Look where the rear tires are, look where the front tires are. Out to here it's probably even easier to see. To me this is a slide, you see? This is a slide. Oh fuck, sorry. There we go. So that is Puhon.
That is okay. But I still consider this being a four-wheel slide. Look where the tire skid marks are. Do you see that? To me that is a proper slide. Especially here. Look at that. Both sides. A car that is perfectly balanced that should the rear tires should follow the path of the front. Yeah, I'm entirely sideways and at the same time look look the onboard. I'm just I'm just understeering off. I mean I turn the wheel but I'm understeering off. I need to even wait to apply the power. You can't see that right there, but I'm I'm lifting down here. I'm sliding off though. But yeah, what can you do? What can you do? Uh, yeah, Danielle, but I also saw those skid marks when, um, when driving in the dry. Oh Shane, really? You're confused. Tell me something new. <laughs> I'm confused as fuck as well. Yeah, this is the Rebellion R13. Um, I mean, I, I'm not sure. I think it is an LMP2 car uh, livery though. Uh, not livery, chassis. Um... I mean, right now, of course, it's uh, Rebellion TVR. Uh, I'll be right back real quick. Um, grabbing a quick coffee. It is effing hot today. Like, it's so super hot and super humid outside. It's so ugly.
so uh, that gives us the possibility though to have a look at other people on track right now um, I'm gonna grab a quick coffee so we have the um, McLaren GT3 going on right there I think that was Blanchimore um, I'm gonna grab a coffee real quick Right. Oh yeah. So yep, um, this is the conversion from a set to Corsa. As I can see, that the McLaren seems also be pretty slidey. Not sure uh, if that is down to conditions, down to setup. Um. Okay, so time to get back on track, I guess.
Uh, Dylan, I'm gonna be in the ground effect. And the ground effect sim racing LMP. Uh, what is pretty interesting in D is that you have to break fairly early with the LMP worn and dry conditions already. So that is the understeer and still we got hotter rear temperatures despite I'm just even in coasting it's like the same amount nah I don't know what do you mean by that Sven lag of ground effect oh yeah 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 okay now I got it Okay, it's gonna get interesting tomorrow if there is sun outside. Oh, I hate this. That fucking rooftop window blend has let me down twice now. And it's always happening in the summer. Too quick, too quick. Oh dear. Also oh, too quick. Ow, ow. I think we have to be careful with flat spots as well. Uh, no, it's no live event. Um, well, what do you mean live event? I think it's definitely broadcasted in the web. I'm gonna have a 24-hour live stream. Um, it's an it's an online uh, event though. No, no, it's not on side. It's at home. Blanchimont, full lifted. Heat, heat, heat in the rears. So slow in, fast out. I do not feel comfortable for that race tomorrow at all. Not by the slightest. Yeah. Pfft. Turn in way too quick. The car feels like being just, you know, there is so much grip on the front axis. And then there's literally no grip whatsoever on the rear. Even that slide off has lit the rears more. 
Yeah, I do not know how we how we move or work around that. I think setup wise we tried everything. You can probably run the stiffest front and the softest rear and you have that. If you ask me, they got the tires wrong. No, there's only rebellions. I'm sorry, buddy, but... <sighs> Luis Moreno, thank you, buddy. Thank you so much. Alright, bear with me for another minute. You hear the, the heart rock music? Okay, ultimate challenge then. That means we're now going to go out and try to finish 10 laps in a row. I can't actually think about what I just said. Finish 10 laps in a row. Good luck, Michi. Uh, I'm not sure whether they will go into LMP1 officially. As I think that car is quite dead. 
Well, Sven, of course, without spinning, it should be race condition like. Can't judge though. Yeah, Misa, I guess so. I guess I can do it. Okay, we need to have 30.0 on the lap counter without dying. Let's go. In before I die, turn one. I mean, what does our Factor 2 or Studio 397 not have yet? We do have the tattoos, we do have a Formula 3, we do have a Formula 4, a Formula 2, Formula 1 car. Despite that could be updated with something more modern. Um, we got GT3s, we got GTEs, we got the one or other hypercar and prototype car. Uh, I think what we're missing is proper touring cars, if I'm not mistaken. And then I think there is everything we need for a competition ladder. Okay, has it stopped raining now or is that just fake again? Because uh, rain has disappeared. So it's 0% uh, right now, 33% on track, 89 off track. Make sure you 10 lap challenge. Come on! Here comes the rain again. Oh, if I gonna if we're gonna have that tomorrow in the race, I'm gonna be furious. Yeah, we're missing also some cheaty fours through that. I'm not sure whether you need cheaty fours for a competition ladder though. Also, I don't know about Formula Four and Formula Three whether you need both. Or whether you just go with the tattoos. So I don't want to have the spray.
seventh gear. Still, the rear tires get lit. Holy shit! Oh, you gotta be kidding! Well, and that leads to a lap time over a second slower. No, we're not dead yet, we're not dead yet, we're just sliding around. But hashtag not dead yet. So race is coming up tomorrow at noon Central European time. I hope for dry conditions. Uh, Jos Araneda will start the car. Also, uh, we got Pavel Lefterov as a driver and Jakub. Oh, I'm so sorry. I will butcher that name. Karczynski or something. I'm so sorry, buddy. I'm so sorry. Yeah, dead. Turn in, dead. And now you will see... As the rear tires got lit once, the rear tires suffered some, some more wear now. You can see how this will end up on the balance. Wahnsinn. Das ist so geisteskrank. I have no idea how many LMPs we are tomorrow, but I hope everyone is having the same issues. I mean, I'm driving this car for three or four hours now. Not today, but in total. And I never had so many issues to drive a car. You know, actually, the, the WCS fixed Marusha F1 car. I got down to that within two and a half to three hours. But this one is just mental. <laughs> yeah, I hope so, Altamon. Can someone check whether it's actually raining there right now? Oh, wow. I don't think it is raining right now anyway. It feels like if you turn too much on the steering wheel on the front, the car just goes around the corner and yeah, there's nothing you can do on the front. Or the rear is definitely not able to follow. Okay, so it's raining at Spa. I wonder how they got the live weather plugin working so good. Car nearly wanted to spin again, and there we are. And there is nothing I can do. I'm like just coasting through the damn fucking corner. This car feels actually worse than the Subaru yesterday.
so slippery in the back. Fuck. Fuck. Halt's Maul, Alter. No, actually, you know what, guys? That brings it to an end for here. I have no idea. Let me check. I have one final, one final idea. Komplett geisteskrank einfach. Yeah, money. Poor Bros is to blame. No, seriously. Too stupid to even exit the pit. Great! Great! No worries, Danielle. For least I'm too late. <laughs> the problem is, whatever you do now on the set, you need at least three, four, five laps, actually, to uh, to see how if it really, really works. Or whether it's just another bullshit. Hey there, Miss Figas. Please also ex excuse for the Kyrillic language. <laughs> I'm joking. Good afternoon to you as well. I hate saying this, but you know, the car feels better than before. Now, it is still the fucking outlap. Dragon model, welcome. Yes, indeed I do, but I have no alley rig to put them on yet. That uh, order has been placed, and I expect uh, arrival of that rig within the next three to four weeks according to all the confirmation well putting Hoisingfeld now down the floors no I would just move straight into the back with my chair It's Maul. I think there is stability. As retarded as it sounds. But oh, bear with me, let me do some laps. I don't want to sit here celebrating and then find out I'm, I'm, I'm wrong. I'm very, very wrong. Ah, uh, Leynut, I think you will understand if I keep my mouth shut as soon as I do the unboxing, just for the surprising. Uh, no Epa either, what I actually did is uh, swap the clutch with the brake pedal, so the pedal with, with that stupid brake mod is now in the clutch. So uh, this pedal here got that get, got that mod inside and also is configured the way the brake would be configured. Oh fuck. Okay, what I definitely changed is the way the car turns in 
through the corner. Not sure whether I want to call that a fix. Oh dear. What pisses me off though is that there is no torque split for that LMP1. That would be exactly what you need right now to counter steer that. Rear's still twitchy. But... It's not as severe as before. Let's see how we can take a rouge. That bad, missed the apex there. Hey there, Bruno. Yep, that is still a G29. Oh, look at that. There is actually stability while still being too quick into a corner. I'm amazed. Do a few more laps though. Wow. Personal best in Pool Horn alone. I think I found a solution. The problem is not entirely dissolved, but look at that, we're suddenly going purple. And we got 8% of rain, 30% of track wetness still. Clear indication for similar conditions compared to when we set the other lap time. A little bit on the brakes. Bear with me there. Ah, too much sliding out of one. No personal best on that lap. No, um, swapping the springs around doesn't work. You need to exchange the pedals. Wow, that's the best of rouge. Indeed. Don't. Oh, fuck. Of course, I notched the wall. But still, now we spun heavily around. That means we now got perfect conditions for doing further testing, see whether the stability has been improved in the rear. Because now tires are lit.
The lap was a 217.18. I wouldn't go higher than five or six minimum torque because those subtle, those subtle feedbacks from the wheel are better than anything else. F, another F. Moment of truth. Could be worse. My big problem is the big variety in lap times, though. Like you spun once, and now I'm suddenly losing two and a half seconds on the lap. Hi, uh, welcome there, Bruno. So guys, if you're new to the channel and if you like the content, I would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel uh, and come back for more streaming. Turn around this, turn around that. Well, Danielle, you still gather some information because I am fighting a problem I also had in the dry and now I got a hot fix ready for that I hope. That was a two, zero, five, point, two, also you know just about getting used to the car don't make that stupid rubber shit so four and a half tenth gone Annoying, so annoying. Um, just losing time. I have seen stints of my teammate Jos, and he's put in lap time after lap time, all within one second. And I can't even do that in the wet. Fuck, fuck. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna give some feedback on that note and uh, gonna bring it to an end here. So, races tomorrow, um, 12 CET, so right at noon. Um, would like to thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you so much for your thoughts and thank you so much for your, uh, for your help uh, in some regard. Yes, Danielle, I'm giving it a go, uh, talking about Work Fastest Gamer, so that stream is coming up to next week. Um, I do not have the most expectations, though, because I know that people are sweating the laps, people are sweating the track, people are sweating the car. Uh, I don't have time for that, and uh, therefore I prob most likely won't have the chance for it either. Um, so, yeah. That's going to do it, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a great weekend. Um, also, in one hour, the Sim Pit goes live with uh, Beyond the Sim, Sim Racing Talk with Billy Strange Racing and him. So uh, that's going to be the program for you guys in one hour. Make sure to check that out, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Hope you liked it. If you like it, give it a like. 
Um, give the like button a hit. Share and subscribe to the channel. Would appreciate that. Thanks for the support, guys. See you there next time tomorrow. Goodbye.